Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a bit of a tack up and stretching video just because a lot of you guys have asked kind of my routine for that. So here is Welbeck, she is back in work, I'm so excited. This was the first day I actually rode her and she was super good. Um, here I am grooming her, she hates being groomed, all the pinning ears, especially around her stomach. I'm actually going to start her on some ulcer supplement, so just to rule that out because we've had the chiropractor, everything out, and there's nothing else wrong with her, so it must be some sort of ulcers. Yeah, anyway, sidetrack. So yes, um, here I'm grooming her. I use a magic brush first and then I go over her with a body brush because she lives out in the field and she is absolutely filthy. And now I'm brushing down her mane, which is really kind of rubbish. I need to finish pulling it. And now I'm brushing out her tail. I don't brush out her tail every day just because she ha doesn't have the thickest tail, but it was disgusting. And I actually ended up cutting it because it was really long and tattery and I cut them a little bit short during the winter because there's so much mud and it just kind of keeps it out of the mud and keeps it cleaner. So yes, that's what I'm doing. And here I'm picking out her feet. She doesn't have shoes on at the moment because if she had shoes, she would just lose them because it's so mucky. <laughs> um, now I use these Lemieux brushing boots for flat work. Um, I use tendon boots if I'm jumping. This is my saddle pad from the EC Equestrian. Um, they're on Instagram. I love it so much because um, it has girl gang and I've been saving to use it on Welbeck because Cal isn't my girl gang, Welbeck is part of my girl gang, so yeah. <laughs> um, and for bridal, I just have my Mackie bridal and a plastic mullet mouth bit, which is pretty simple. So this is my saddle pad. And I also have these new stirrup leathers and they are from Glaze and Gordon. Um, they supply them and they ship internationally, I'm pretty sure. And they've asked me just to try them out and see what I think and then do a series of videos just updating you guys on how much I like them. And look how cute they are. That little silver button is my favorite thing ever. I think it looks so classy. So yeah, I'm really excited to get and um, keep using them. So I'm just finished riding Welbeck now with my new stirrup leathers. And I have to say I am genuinely impressed by them <laughs> i was worried that they were just gonna be like a kind of a fad kind of thing that like i've seen them a lot of places and stuff but um no like 10 out of 10 my leg is was definitely more stable and secure like i'm actually <laughs> so surprised like i'm not saying that if you get in these if you use these stirrup letters your leg will automatically be like amazing but they definitely improve your leg I've never ridden in a western saddle, but I feel like this is what it would be like where it almost, I don't know, it just feels like I'm like strapped in or something. My leg is like strapped into the saddle. Um, and you know, like western saddles, you sit like really like deep and you like don't really move and stuff like that. I just feel like that's what this would be like. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so pleased with them. Um, the only thing that the only problem I had with them was actually getting my stirrups onto them because they have this really cute like silver button on the end of the strap which I actually love. It reminds me of the like Ogilvy um, little silver button things I just think it looks really classy but um, that was so hard to get um, through the hole in the stirrups um, because the stirrups I have are plastic and they have this like really small kind of hole for the leathers but um, I got it in eventually but I was so worried that I'd like break them like break the silver button thing off but no I didn't and um, so that's just something to think about I guess don't be shocked um, when you get them and you can't actually get them on your stirrups um, other than that no that's it so yeah, I can't wait to ride more in them and I'll get some clips of me jumping and riding in them in the next video and you'll hopefully see a difference. I'm really excited to jump well back in them because 
over bigger fences my leg does tend to slide back quite a bit so I'm hopeful that they might keep my leg a bit more secure so I guess we'll just have to wait and find out and I'll keep updated if these are worth it but I'm yeah no genuinely impressed <laughs> and surprised and um, so yeah I'll see you now for the untacking and stretching part of this video. <laughs> So here I'm just untacking Welbeck after our ride. She was super, she was actually really quite chill. There was only a few little speedy moments. <laughs> She's not sweating or anything. I didn't work her too hard. So I'm starting with her front leg stretches. Now Welbeck has only been doing these stretches for two days now. So she's still not quite sure about them compared to Cal. So I start just with her knee at a right angle and then 10 rotations to the left and 10 rotations to the right. And then I stretch her leg forward with one hand at the toe of her her, her hoof and the other hand um, under supporting her fetlock. And then I do 10 rotations to the left and 10 rotations to the right. And this is sped up, so just so you know that I wasn't doing it this fast, it's still a little bit slower. You want to kind of hold that stretch for a while to make it worthwhile. And if the horse is pulling back or anything, don't force them to do anything they don't want to. Just kind of wait until they settle into it and relax. But you can see even by the second foot, um, Welbeck is a lot more happy to stand there and do it. So yeah. So that one's great for stretching out all their shoulders and everything. And now this is the hind leg stretch, um, which Welbeck is not as good at. She's quite tight behind, especially coming out or coming backwards. But again, I just, bring her leg downwards and just be patient and she eventually relaxes and lets me pull it back and then again 10 rotations to the left and 10 to the right and now this one as well I left this in even though she's not very good she keeps pulling her leg back but realistically if your horse isn't used to it they might not be too happy you just have to take what you can get like Cal can bring his foot to almost his front leg whereas Welbeck is only halfway there um, you just have to take it slow and she'll get better each time. So you do 10 circles to the left and right in the low, medium and high. If your horse can't get the high, don't worry. Um, Welbeck um, can, she actually finds the lowest one the hardest. So yeah, and then you just repeat that with the other hind leg. And just make sure you're supporting their legs so they feel that you're not going to drop them <laughs> or anything like that. And then again, you just kind of, I just kind of held her leg there and you can see where she just relaxes. It just takes her a moment. Every horse is different. Cal is the opposite. Cal lets you bring <laughs> his legs wherever you want, but well, that's just a little bit more tight and tense. And my farrier will definitely thank me for doing this because he always gives out about how tight she is when he's trying to shoe her behind. So I think with a lot of this practice, she'll definitely become more looser. You can see here again, once she got used to it with the other leg, she kind of knew the drill and she was a lot more settled than when I did the second leg. And then bringing her into the highest position. And this is great. Um, you want to only do these stretches after your workout because you need to build on warm muscle, definitely not on cold muscle. And listen to your horse. If they're saying it's too hard, then don't force them to do anything. So these are her carrot stretches. Well, Beck doesn't like carrots because she's a bloody weirdo. So I use feed and I don't do, I just do side to side and you can see how I was really surprised. This is my first time doing them and she is so, so, so much less flexible than Cal is. Like Cal can reach past his hip, whereas Welbeck barely um, is able to reach to like halfway to her hip like halfway between her shoulder and her hip i'm so bad at description <laughs> but yeah so if their ears are pointing downwards they're kind of cheating and they're not doing it properly that's why i didn't give her the feed that time they were whereas that one's a bit better where her ears are pointed upwards and you can kind of do high medium low again so get them to reach low get them to reach up to their hip just vary it so they're stretching all their neck Welbeck, um, her tight area is her neck, which is why this is gonna really, really help her. So I'm excited to see how she, um, how she gets more flexible and I'll keep you guys updated. So this is her starting point, her first day doing it, and I'm sure she's gonna get 
super flexible. Um, Lauren, my friend, um, Eddie's gun. She's an equine physiotherapist. And she said the, um, their range is kind of their, around about their hip. So she should really be able to reach her hip after practicing this for a while longer. So I just do it three times on each side. You can also go down um, between their legs where they reach downwards, but she's very flexible that way. So I didn't bother wasting my feed because <laughs> it's side to side that she really needs practice. So now I'm just putting on her rug and that's it. She's gonna head out to the field now after eating her feed. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you might practice some stretches with your own horses. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>